I literally have not spent a single dime on paid ads to promote ClickFunnels as an affiliate, and I've made over $30,000. So you have zero dollars to your name right now, but you still wanna go ahead and start an affiliate marketing business. What's going on my friend? My name is Eric Ellis, CEO of wolvesacademy.com, the wolf of marketing. And I was literally in your shoes not too long ago. Believe it or not, I actually made my first six figures online using free marketing strategies. So if there's anyone qualified to teach you guys how to make money online with affiliate marketing with zero dollars to start, it is me. So in this video, you're about to basically discover the same method that I used and implemented to make my first six figures online. So what we're about to do is we're about to step behind the laptop and show you step by step how to go ahead and make money online with no investment to start. How to start an affiliate marketing business with no money for beginners. So the first step that we're going to do is we're going to pick a niche. What is a niche? A niche is a category. So for example, if we were to use ClickBank as an affiliate, now you guys might be promoting some other affiliate program where you guys might already be an affiliate of something, so on and so forth. But for those who aren't, whether you guys are using ClickBank, JVZoo, promoting something else, you guys need to pick a category, AKA a niche. So as soon as you guys log in and get access to the marketplace and ClickBank, there's gonna be all these different categories. Now, for example, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the self-help niche. Just for example, right? Now you guys can do, I would recommend starting in health, wealth, and romance, but basically we picked our niche. Boom, we're gonna do self-help, kind of mindset type stuff. We wanna help people with their mindset. Step number two is basically pick a brand name. So for example, mindset, right? The easiest way to go ahead and pick a brand name is using a base like mindset or money or romance. Whatever your niche is, you can go ahead and use these base words. Now for example, wolves mindset, Wolves Mindset is a brand that I currently have access to. Now guys, what makes a good brand name? If you can go ahead and purchase the domain name and the socials. So what does that mean? Basically for Wolves Mindset, I have the domain name wolvesmindset.com and I have the social media platforms on Instagram, on Facebook. Every single handle for Wolves Mindset, I have access to it. Now you guys are probably like, Eric, what are you talking about? Buy, you just said I don't have to invest any money. Yes, you don't have to invest any money. The methods that I'm gonna be teaching you guys in this video, you don't have to invest a single dime. However, if you're gonna go to use YouTube or Instagram or some of the methods that I'm gonna be talking about in this, you wanna go ahead and eventually when you do have maybe $10, to your name to invest, right? You wanna go ahead and lock down the domain name too. If you're gonna get the social media platforms and market on social media, you might as well get the, the domain name in the future when you can afford to make the investment. So I'm kinda of just getting ahead of myself, I guess you could say. Step number three is picking an affiliate offer. So let's just say, hypothetically, we were in the self-help section. Now, let's just talk about the perpetual income 65. So people who are interested in mindset, are also interested in making money online, right? Usually, okay. So what I can do is I can go ahead and actually promote this product and earn up to $96.64. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and click the promote button, click the promote button, it's gonna go ahead and generate my affiliate link and then that is going to go ahead and have access to a sales video or a sales presentation that'll explain to people what this product is and how to actually go ahead and solve their desired problem. And if they believe that this product can help them solve their problem, then they will make a purchase. And on average, when somebody makes a purchase, they're spending about $96.64. So boom, we have picked a offer in our niche. Step number four is we're going to go ahead and create a content calendar. So this is literally my content calendar. So on Mondays, I create discovery content for affiliate marketers. On Wednesdays, I create beginner content for struggling affiliates. And on Fridays, I create advanced content for affiliates. Monday, how to make money online in 2020. Wednesday, June 8th, how to promote affiliate products for free. Friday, Facebook ads, CBO campaigns, that's pretty complex strategies, right? Someone who's brand new to affiliate marketing might not even be interested in Facebook ads campaign. Now, this content that I'm actually creating right now, that I'm actually speaking over this screen record is an example of beginner content for struggling affiliates or just beginner affiliates, right? If you've been struggling to generate your sales or 
make money online as an affiliate, so on and so forth. This content is for you. You fall within that category. So you guys get it, right? And you guys might have discovered me from some sort of discovery content, like how to make money online, or you guys discovered me some, some way to where you guys are interested in affiliate marketing now. That's why you guys have watched this video. So that way, I'm gonna go in and teach you guys how to go ahead and eventually transition into this, this advanced content. So that way you guys can start benefiting from the advanced content. Now, the whole point of this content calendar, you guys wanna generate sales with and drive sales to your affiliate products. You're going to have to drive website visitors. The only way to generate website visitors is by doing paid marketing with Facebook ads or Instagram ads or any type of paid marketing strategy or creating content that is going to be congruent with the products you are creating. So for example, Perpetual Income 365, if I was using the Wolves Mindset as the brand, I could go ahead and create mindset content and make money online content. Now, I'm not even talking about what platform yet. I'm just saying I would create that type of content. And when I create that type of content that is congruent with my products that I am offering, basically the whole point of the content calendar, you guys understand what it is now, is I just want you to understand is that you're gonna go ahead and have to consistently produce content because guys consistency compounds the only way that this method is going to work is if you do this over a long period of time consistently this isn't like you create one piece of content boom you get rich no you have to create a content calendar and you have to be disciplined and stick to that schedule now step number five is implement content pyramid marketing strategies the top of the pyramid you're going to go ahead for your content calendar your three content per week or your one content per week you're going to commit to one long form piece of content so an example of a long form piece of content could be a youtube video or a blog post one long form piece of content and then what you're going to do is you're going to redistribute that long form content on multiple platforms. So that same video that I use for YouTube, I can also go ahead and create a blog post out of it. I could also uh, post it on my Facebook fan page. I could also post it on IGTV. I could also post it on LinkedIn. The sh the, you get it, right? As many platforms as possible. I can also transcribe it into a podcast. Literally one piece of content and you're distributing it on multiple platforms. You're also going to be able to create and distribute micro content. Now, what does that mean? Simply put, micro content is when you make smaller pieces of content out of a larger piece of content. So if you have a 10 minute YouTube video and you wanted to go ahead and pick the top three takeaways from that YouTube video and make them into 60 second segments, now you can go ahead and actually distribute those three pieces of micro content over the series of three days on your Instagram feed, your Pinterest, and your Twitter. So again, you're using one piece of content that is long form, like a 10 minute YouTube video, finding the best pieces of that content, and then creating smaller pieces of micro content that you can go ahead and then distribute on additional platforms. So it is literally working smarter not harder you are creating one piece of content distributing that one piece of content on multiple platforms and then creating micro pieces of content out of that one piece of content and distributing it on more platforms right so the whole point of this guys is to basically build an audience of people who know like and trust you and then redirect them to the products that you are offering. So let me give you guys a real case study. So for example, the Ahrefs, right? They are a company with Ahrefs. You don't have to be an SEO pro to get ranked higher and get more traffic. Aref is an all-in-one SEO tool set. So they sell an SEO tool set. If you guys don't know what that means, it's basically search engine optimization. It's so that way you can rank higher in places like Google or YouTube. And basically so they can get more website traffic to their websites. Now, basically Ahrefs is an all-in-one SEO tool. And if we look at the actual pricing, they have monthly billing, $99 a month, $179 a month, $399 a month, $999 a month. So example, let's just say this is the affiliate product that you want to promote. Now, obviously they're promoting their own product, but guys, pillar content marketing could be used to promote affiliate products or even your own product. 
So the way that I found this company is literally just by going to affiliate marketing for beginners. Why? Because that's my niche, right? I try to rank for keywords like this. So I wanted to find a case study showing you guys somebody implementing this content marketing strategy. Here's a real case study. I literally just typed in affiliate marketing for beginners and then I found ahrefs.com. So they're ranked number one on their blog post and it says seven steps to success. So I opened up the blog post. This is what it looks like. Affiliate marketing for beginners, seven steps to success. I scroll down and I said, oh crap, they have a YouTube video as well. This is the pillar piece of content. They create one piece of content and then leverage that one piece of content to create and distribute multiple pieces of content over different platforms. So here's an example. They're creating a YouTube video as a pillar piece of content. And then what they're doing is they're driving traffic by telling people at the end of their YouTube videos to click the links in their description to get access to their products that can help these people solve their desired problem. And additionally, they are going to drive traffic to their blog posts. Now I will show you guys how they're gonna be monetizing their blog posts in a second, but let's not skip ahead. Now, additionally, they have created a blog post from the same exact one piece of content. And additionally, they have their Facebook fan page where they post their blog. So guys, you guys have to understand this is one piece of content. This is a multiple piece of content. This is created from just one content distributed on multiple platforms. And if they really wanted to go above and beyond, then they could even bust down that one 16 minute YouTube video into multiple pieces of segments and then to go ahead and distribute them all over the internet. Now, what are they doing? They're basically getting this attention and one way that they're monetizing this, and you can do the same thing with affiliate marketing, is they're really driving a whole bunch of traffic to their blog, and then after readers finish reading their blog, they ask for their email. If you enjoy the read, don't miss out on the next article. So what they're doing is, they're gonna go ahead and say, if you want access to the next article, put your email in. Then what they're going to do is they're going to go ahead and continue to establish trust with the person who just found their article or found their piece of content with free marketing. All they had to do was invest time. And then once the person puts their email in, they're going to continue to send them these blog articles. But additionally, because they have their email, they can also make offers about their product. So they're going to basically send people to their products. Now guys, the only thing invested in this method, if you're a one man show, is your time. Now the question is, does this actually work? Well, all I can do is go based off of my personal experience. So here's an example of me actually implementing the strategy as well. Now I picked my niche and I picked my brand. My niche is affiliate marketing. My brand is Eric Ellis Jr. Here's an example of one of many affiliate offers that I promote as an affiliate that is congruent with my brand, which is basically ClickFunnels. It's a software that I use to make hundreds of thousands of dollars online. But because I go ahead and actually use this product, I decided to promote it as an affiliate. So basically inside the software, they have an affiliate program where you can go ahead and actually get the link to go ahead and send people to this page right here. And basically whenever somebody goes through this page through my unique affiliate ID and they watch the sales video and they buy the products, I get paid a commission. And the cool thing is because this is a software and a monthly subscription, I get paid monthly every time somebody makes a payment on this product. And an example of pillar content marketing, here is one piece of content that I created 13,000 views. I created it two years ago, but if you guys look here in my description, I have a link to go ahead and send them to my affiliate link. And then when they watch my affiliate link and decide to make a purchase, boom, I get paid a commission. Additionally, I have also created a blog post out of this. I have also created other pieces of content out of this one piece of content. And I am proud to say that I have not spent a single dollar in paid advertising to go ahead and promote ClickFunnels as an affiliate. And I have generated $30,868.59 as an affiliate. Now guys, I have other affiliate programs that I promote with paid ads that I've made hundreds of thousands of dollars with. But as stated before, does this free marketing strategy work? Yes, I literally have not spent a single dime on paid ads to promote ClickFunnels as an affiliate. And I've made over $30,000. How awesome is that? Now, the overview of this actual strategy, we're gonna go ahead and pick a niche 
pick a brand then we're going to go ahead and pick a product to promote right so we're going to pick a product to the right here to promote and then what we're going to do is we're going to create one piece of content pillar content and then what we're going to do is we're going to make multiple different pieces of content out of that one content or distribute that same exact content on different platforms like facebook instagram creating an actual blog out of it and then create micro pieces of content and post it on instagram pinterest so on and so forth you can go ahead and create as many pieces of content out of one piece of content and then what you're going to do is you're going to leverage that attention from when people go ahead and actually find you online and you're going to drive that attention to your affiliate offers your affiliate offers if you're promoting something that has a sales video is going to go ahead and do all the selling for you and literally with no investment financially all you're doing is investing is time you're going to be able to make boat loads of cash so with that being said what should you be doing next guys it's simple pick your niche build your brand pick an offer start creating and monetizing stay patient and persistent and never give up in conclusion being successful in affiliate marketing or any business is less about resources meaning you don't have to have a lot of money it's more about resourcefulness instead of focusing on what you don't have make use with what you've got right if you don't got money but you got time invest the time additionally this is not an overnight thing for those gurus out there who are saying get rich quick and make money fast and all that extra stuff guys run far far away from those people the way that this works guys is this is a marathon this is not a sprint right this is a real business model that takes time effort and energy this is a marathon this is not a sprint if you stay patient persistent and consistent you'll be able to eventually transition from this being a nice little side hustle or hobby to a full-time job quitting income that will allow you to live a life of time location and financial freedom literally live the life of your dreams so the question is what's next take this information and execute knowledge isn't power my friend applied knowledge is power thank you so much for watching today's video eric ellis here ceo of wolvesacademy.com the wolf of marketing and if you guys liked this video make sure to hit the like button literally smack it in the face also if you guys like videos like this make sure to hit the subscribers button and hit the notifications bell to get notified every time i drop some new heat and more importantly, if you guys want to know my number one recommendation to make money online, the first link in the description, or there's going to be a button down below that you can go ahead and take action on. That's going to go ahead and actually show you how I've literally went from dead broke, homeless, eating grilled cheese every day to living the life of my dreams. Click the link on around this video and I look forward to seeing you on the inside.